Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields on this Tuesday watching this disturbance here. And I do believe at this point it's more likely that it moves into the Caribbean as a weaker system. That's how it stands now. We know uh, there's big differences in the models, what's going on in the environment. We're watching all of that together. Uh, but as it stands now, based on what I'm seeing, it looks like this will slide closer and closer to the Caribbean and eventually bring in some rain. I'm hoping, I'm really hopeful that it brings some welcome rain for some of us and doesn't uh, become a strong system or anything like that. But a lot of things have been showing this big curve, but more and more I've been seeing just based on what I'm seeing in the environment and what I'm seeing in the system right now, that it would have a better chance of just kind of trekking along to the west, right into the Caribbean and becoming a rainmaker. So again, as I, I go through these videos, again, I tell you my thinking and I tell you what changes and you know what I'm looking out for. So I wanted to let you know that uh, right off the bat. This is again, this disturbance here. It is not super organized. I wanna show you why in a second. I wanna show you the model comparisons, the European, the American model, some other models. I wanna get into that. And I wanna get into that system that is gonna develop into a hurricane back toward a Mexico. We'll touch on that in a moment. But this here will work its way closer to the Eastern Caribbean. Now, the model comparison, I'm looking at everything out there. There's almost too much to look at at uh, this point. Uh, the European model and the Icon, which is a German model, both keeps this system a little weaker. And because it's weaker, it will move more to the west. Weaker systems tend not to make as big of a curve. They tend to move a little bit more just to the west, just kind of marching on. They don't feel the fronts to the north. So the European and the uh, German model both have that. The American model and the Canadian model have this making more of a curve and also have this becoming a tropical storm and then a hurricane. But uh, as we go out in time, at this point, it's Tuesday. The American model a few days ago, if you look back at some of my old videos, had it as a tropical storm at this point. So it's clearly a little bit behind the game, a little bit off in what it's seeing out there in the environment. Now, one thing I'm watching, I mentioned the environment, good cue, Brian. Uh, I'm watching some of the dry air. You see this, this kind of orange shading. Now this is above our heads, well above our heads, mid-levels of the atmosphere. There's some drier air in here. And that's one of the reasons I believe that it is not getting super organized. It's kind of fighting off some of the dry air, which is a good thing. Thus, it's a little bit weaker. Thus, it's continuing to march off to the west. And you see, it's really not too far away from us in the Eastern Caribbean at this point. Now you look at the models and you look at this, and you're like, okay, this is going to take a hook. Yes, that is still possible. It still could miss us in the Caribbean. But over time, we've been seeing more and more of that uh, westerly jog. And one of the models that's not on this map here would be the European model, which takes it more and more into the Caribbean. So uh, speaking of that, I want to show you what we're seeing with that European model and the American model. Now, as it stands now, before I get to that, we're on alert, we're in monitor mode. What I mean by that is it's not preparation mode. Um, I'm not seeing this thing uh, blowing up into this massive hurricane. At this point, of course, yeah, things change, and I'll let you know if that changes. I'm going to let you know right away. That's my promise to you, of course. Uh, do this for safety. With that said, anywhere from Puerto Rico down really through Trinidad and Tobago, we're monitoring this. We're keeping an eye on this. We're sharing the channel to let others know, yeah, there is something out there, and at the least, it could bring us some substantial rain at times. Now, Here's the European model, and this is what I've been leaning to, and you've been seeing me talk about that in the last a few videos. So the setup, still locked in. We've got the blocker just to the north, so that is also one of the reasons this is moving off to the west. Now, the European model does keep this weaker. There's huge differences in the models. That's not really uncommon as we get into October because there's so much more going on in the atmosphere, in the environment uh, this time of year with these fronts. So again, that's not super uncommon, so I'm not trying to judge these uh, computer models. But you see here, just going out in time, this is by Thursday night. Thursday night, uh, we're going to have this moisture really building and starting to work toward the Caribbean. Not quite in yet, but by Thursday night, this moisture is here, but it's not really wrapping up into a big system. Now, these area of high pressures, the blockers, they do move away some. So that would allow a stronger system to curve if this were to be stronger. But at this point, I'm not seeing it becoming super strong as we go out in time here, also watching these fronts back here, as we go out in time, the European model keeps this as a weaker system, not even necessarily a tropical storm. It's just, 
I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet the strength of this, uh, but as of now, here's the European model, and you see this is by Saturday. You see this green here? Here we go. There's Puerto Rico. We got my friends in Jamaica here, Trinidad and Tobago here. Extra moisture building in. We'll see some isolated flooding. Could get some gusty winds. Puerto Rico, U.S. and, Virgin, uh, US and British Virgin Islands. And here yet again is another front, so it's another wait and see to see if it tries to curve this. But if this stays weak, that would just bring some extra rain into the Caribbean, which would be a best case scenario at this point. We are so close to getting that good scenario out of this. I'm hopeful, but I'm trying to, I always keep my emotions aside when forecasting, just try to give you the facts and what's going on. As it looks now, it looks like it will bring some extra rain, which would be the good news scenario for the Caribbean, even maybe potentially over toward the Cayman Islands and Jamaica by the time we get into early next week but it hinges on the strength. Again, if this wraps up or it gets a little bit stronger, these fronts here might be able to grab it. And that's what the American model is showing. I wanna talk more about the strength in a second, but the American model is saying, hey, this is going to be a stronger system. But the American model has this really over the next 24 to 36 hours becoming a tropical storm. So that's not the case when I join you tomorrow. Again, we know even more that the American model's off, but the American model does have this becoming a tropical storm than a hurricane, but then taking that sharp, almost right turn up to the north in missing the Caribbean. Is this a possibility? Yes, it is because again, the system could fight off some of that dry air and the water temperatures are warm and then we'd be keeping an eye on Bermuda down the road. But if you're asking which way am I leaning, it would be to the European model bringing in some of that extra rain into the Caribbean. And that's why I want you to share this channel to let people know we could have something coming our way by the end of the week. And you see the models, they do all strengthen this into a tropical storm. Not all of them. A lot of them do strengthen this into a tropical storm, uh, in some into a hurricane like I just showed you in the American model. The European model is not plotted on this. It would be more somewhere in here, close to a tropical storm or you know, a weak system, something like that, somewhere in here. So again, there's a zillion models out there. So just trying to give you that uh, information. So uh, Clearly, all eyes are on this. We're watching it. If you just, my big thing is awareness, just spreading uh, this channel and this information so that if it does get stronger, nobody's caught off guard by this. So, watching that area there, some scattered showers, parts of the Bahamas, a few near the Turks and Caicos. I want to show you this in a second. Uh, watching this wrapping up into a, a, a more of a major system over here. Uh, Nicaragua, Honduras, uh, El Salvador, Guatemala. We've had some of the rain and storms once again around. Costa Rica will be seeing that back through uh, Panama. ABC Islands, we've once again been in between everything on the uh, dry side. Spotty shower storm in Jamaica. We've had a couple. We had a couple yesterday watching that. Cayman Islands, some extra moisture. There we go. Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Cayman Islands, some extra showers here. And then I'm going to show you this in a second, what's going on over here. And then you see here, this is the American model. This piece of it looks correct. That part of it is a bit uncertain to see. Again, uh, again, the American model has that system making a curve as we get into Thursday curving away. So let me stop it here. Still, look at that heavier rain near Nicaragua. Heads up, we got some friends in Nicaragua and Honduras and some friends of this uh, channel as well here. I want to give you the heads up, spread the word. There could be some uh, flooding here down through parts of Costa Rica and Panama. So again, these stalled fronts this time of year, that is common. And then it, this system over here, we'll keep an eye on that. If the European model's right, we'll see some rain working in later on Friday. If the American model is right, that'll be making a curve and uh, getting the heck out of here. But look at this. This is a concern more so because again, like on the Atlantic side, this time of year is super tricky uh, with the uh, forecast. A few days ago, I was showing you this model and it had this moving into the southwest coast of Mexico. And I thought that was gonna be right. That looked really locked in based on what I was seeing. Yesterday it looked like it would kind of curve more into here, uh, Puerto Vallarta, uh, something like that. And now, by the time we get into Thursday, this is Thursday afternoon, so a couple days from now, kind of sits out there for a little bit before it makes its move. So I'm not sure where it's gonna come in, but Cabo San Lucas uh, watching this uh, closely. So monitoring this very carefully, Baja California, Gulf of California, giving you the heads up and yeah, if this pumps in, this could bring some extra moisture eventually to Texas. Uh, doesn't look so much like Arizona. I know Arizona, we obviously need the rain. Same thing in Mexico, but we'll see because this is changing. This here, you see it right here. This would be by Saturday, a hurricane near uh, Cabo San Lucas. Uh, uh, yesterday looked like it was more over here. So we're going to see together how this evolves. But giving it a heads up, we've got a system that is going to work in as a hurricane 
into parts of Mexico. That at least piece of the puzzle is there, which is good for the awareness. On the Atlantic side, next name on the list is Tammy. On the Eastern Pacific side, the next name on the list is Norma. After that, Otis. Both sides, again, both uh, the Eastern Pacific and Atlantic base, Basin showing some signs of development. Trinidad and Tobago today, storm chance. Uh, shower chance, 40%. We had a couple yesterday, uh, almost right on cue uh, from what I was talking about in the video uh, near Port of Spain. Grenada, isolated shower, 30% chance, a 40% chance tomorrow. St. Vincent in the Grenadines, of course, watching off to the east. St. Lucia, rain chance gradually goes up. If that system moves in, St. Lucia, Barbados will be getting some of that first. That would really increase the chance of rain late Friday into Saturday. For Barbados, rain chance ticking up. You see that on Thursday. Heads up, a 60% chance. Martinique, rain chance gradually going up, and we'll see that same thing. My friends in Dominica, 30% chance tomorrow, 40% chance on Thursday, 20 to 30% chance the next couple days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance about 40% tomorrow, and again on Thursday in Jamaica, those spotty storms around. Some of us dry and too dry and very hot on top of that. Others seen a few of those showers and storms. Cayman Islands scattered showers around the next few days. Puerto Rico, an isolated storm. Heat advisories are up. Temperatures in the low 90s Fahrenheit. It's going to be hot. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 20 to 30 percent chance of a shower in the next couple days. Rain chance about 50 percent in Bermuda. This time of year, as you know, in Bermuda, progressive system. We get these fronts coming in from the United States, and you get some batches of rain at times. Uh, Antigua, Barbuda, holding at a 20% chance the next couple days. A 30% chance, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. A 20% chance in Anguilla today and tomorrow. And a 20 to 30% chance, St. Martin, uh, St. Martin, uh, Seba, and Stacia. 40% chance in Belize. And again, looking to the south, Honduras and Nicaragua, as I showed you, that higher chance of rain and that flood potential uh, going up. You Catana, Mexico, scattered showers, 30, 40% chance over by Cancun. Bahamas, spotty showers. I showed you that batch uh, earlier in this video that we have around this morning, kind of the south central portions of the Bahamas. Turks and Caicos passing shower possible. Haiti, a 30% chance today. Then that storm chance going up some tomorrow and going up tomorrow and again Thursday in the Dominican Republic for us, about a 50% chance of storms. Cuba, 40% chance, seeing a little bit more eastern sections of Cuba for today. Aruba, not a lot, if, if anything at all. Same thing in Curacao, 10% chance. Uh, Costa Rica, as I showed you, again, that higher chance of rain around through Panama, but especially Nicaragua and Honduras. That rain chance will be getting higher, so giving you that alert. Northern Venezuela, uh, about a 30 to 40% chance. Rain chance, Guyana and Suriname is going to trend up, especially if this area moves into the Caribbean, that is going to bump up our rain chance in Guyana and Suriname. So I'll be adjusting that and fine tuning that for you as we go forward. So watching that tropical disturbance getting closer, rain chance could go way up on Friday into Saturday. Watching that kind of dry air around it, that is keeping the system weaker right now. And for Mexico, a big question mark uh, where this system goes, but there's going to be some hurricane impacts with the system on the other side, on the eastern Pacific side. So again, getting the word out about that. 44 days left in the hurricane season, and it is still ever so busy. Thank you for your patience as we go through this hurricane season together. I hope you have a good rest of your day.